The October 2018 parliamentary elections in Bavaria were Germany's most important political event since the previous autumn's federal elections. The results confirm three long-term trends that are drastically changing the German political landscape. The decline of social democracy, the fragmentation of mainstream centrist parties on the left and right, and the increase of populist or identity-related voter motivations crowding out economic interests. The SPD's 9.7% marks the party's worst result in Bavaria since the 1930s, making the state the first where the party has fallen below the symbolic 10% threshold in recent history. Compared to the steep decline of the center-left, the German center-right CDU, CSU, is doing only relatively better. With about 30% support nationwide, it has slightly broadened its more than 10 percentage point lead over the SPD in post-election polls. Where have the center-right CSU votes in Bavaria gone? Some 240,000 Bavarians who voted for the CSU in 2013 were no longer alive to cast their ballot. Many other former supporters, especially the younger ones, have scattered in many directions to the Free Voters and to the populist nationalist AFD, but also to the Greens, which in the Bavarian election presented themselves as a centrist, modern alternative to a CSU that was drifting too far to the right. The center-right thus finds itself sandwiched between the parts of its traditional voter base that no longer see the party as embodying their conservative values and those who find exactly these conservative values to be no longer in line with modernity. The center-left faces a similar dilemma. It must cater to its traditional, social conservative base while also embracing modern or progressive trends. Recent national polls give the parties of the Grand Coalition in Berlin, CDU, CSU and SPD, a combined support of just 40%. That compares to the 53.4% they received in the September 2017 federal elections or to the collective 67.2% they polled in 2013. These numbers attest to Germany's drift toward political fragmentation, with the traditional heavyweights, CSU and SPD, both losing heavily as the far-right AFD and left-liberal Greens rapidly gain ground. If one compares the ideological divide between right and left 40 years ago to today, there has neither been a swing to the left nor to the right. What happened was a dramatic fragmentation within both blocs. Whereas the CSU once monopolized the Bavarian right wing, it now must share it with the free voters and the radical AFD. The SPD gave up its dominance of the left to the Greens, while also losing votes and seats to the radical left party. The rise of the AFD on the populist right and the strength of the populist left party reflect a wider European phenomenon accompanying the decline of the mainstream centrist parties. Both ends of the political spectrum show significant overlaps in their positions against globalization and so-called corrupt elites who are betraying the people. In Greece, Italy and France, these votes of no confidence can easily be attributed to worsening economic performance and political governance. The case of Germany is different. After all, they are the envy of Europe in terms of economic prosperity and political stability. Consequently, the decline of both social democracy as represented by the SPD and of the center-right as represented by the CDU, CSU, is likely to continue even in good times. This implies that new German governments will have to reach beyond a grand coalition of the traditional center-right and center-left. At the federal level, it is likely that no government can be formed without the CDU-CSU as the leading party. You're watching Global Trends video reports by Geopolitical Intelligence Services. For full report, go to gisreportsonline.com, where you can find more customized intelligence briefings, reports, and presentations. 
GIS was founded in 2011 by HSH Prince Michael of Liechtenstein to provide business leaders, senior managers, and policymakers with unbiased, scenario-based geopolitical forecasts to inform their strategic decision-making.